I probably got into fitness from a young age of like maybe 16, maybe even 15, I started running for the first time and I wasn't really enjoying it, but it was more to just try and better myself. I wasn't happy with where I was at and the way I looked, to be honest. I think it was even family members and probably extrinsic motivation from people at school just almost bullying me into the fact of like wanting to do something about it. Then I would say the ages of like 16 to 17, I first got into a gym, was absolutely clueless within the first year. Like it was awful some of the stuff that I did and if I went back I would probably laugh at the way I was training. But by 17 I'd fully caught the bug and started a beginner taking interest in like the knowledge behind how everything worked as well as actually trying to better myself. So at A-levels, I chose to do biology, which I, I did it because it was something that I was good at naturally, to be honest, and I didn't really ever think that it would have anything to do with my career. Obviously in PT, it's not, sometimes you dumb things down a little bit because it's easier for people to understand, but really in the back of our PT brains, so to speak, and being an online coach and all of this, we're constantly thinking about how the body's working. So it does really apply to everything behind the science of training and stuff like that. And I really enjoyed it. It was the first little snippet of me realizing that I was actually interested in maybe not all of biology, but definitely how the body works and how you can manipulate it to perform and look better. My life so far for a 23 year old is, it's crazy. Like I've done so many different things, took so many different directions in what I wanted to do, but I always knew in the back of my head there was something crazy passionate about fitness and trying to not only get myself better, but try and help a lot of people. I loved every single person that came in to my gym, to the gyms that I worked at before, even just meeting people on the street. Like I always wanted to help them. It was all almost like having a hundred little projects in my own head and trying to fit what would work for them with everything that was out there. So whether they enjoyed a certain type of training, whether a certain diet worked for them, that was always what I was crazy passionate about. And yeah, I'm fully like, I'm, I'm not obsessed, but it, it consumes me trying to trying to help people i'm not really bothered about me so to speak anymore like i've hit everything i want to hit and i'll still always get better because i love to train but helping people is definitely what i want to do some of the photos that i have on my camera roll of i have a transformation folder on my iphone and it is my favorite photos to look at like seeing especially the people's faces when I show them the phone or send them the photo for the first time because you can guarantee every person's like mm, after eight, 12 weeks they're like oh I don't really feel any different you show them a photo people are really hypercritical of themselves and when they see the photos from start to beginning side by side the smile that they've got on the face how good they feel and the confidence that they actually gain across the eight weeks it's honestly amazing I mean, I've personally conquered Newcastle, where I'm from, little old Newcastle, with a lot of clients. I haven't conquered everyone, and there's a lot of people that need help there, but I've done a lot there. Now I want to branch out much bigger. I want to hit everyone through my online process, eBooks. I want to tell everybody the story and almost tell them, you know, reduce the amount of crap that they've probably heard in the past of like, oh, it's genetics, it's you're too old, you're too, you've got kids now. Like none of the excuses, there's always, a path for everyone to make and get success, get results. You just need to find the one that's gonna work with your lifestyle and what you enjoy. If you enjoy something, you'll be consistent and stick to it. No, I definitely, when I, when I first started PT and, and training people, I definitely didn't think that I would be a public figure from a TV personality, but I have 100,000 views on my stories now and I see out of that like 10,000 people screenshotting my leg workout, my arm workout, my cardio workout, like that's amazing to me. 10,000 people are either thinking about trying my workout or actually trying it. Like that's amazing because no matter what, at least one day of their life, I've helped them do something that is gonna be beneficial to their health and fitness.
My goals for what I want to do is take over the fitness industry, debunk all of the fads and the people that are putting stuff out there because they're getting paid checks, not because they actually want to help people, but also strive to hit as many people as possible with everything that I've done, everything that I've done for myself, like all of the training techniques that I'm using with clients, that I'm putting in my new ebook, that I'm putting in my nutrition guide, they've worked on me, they've worked on hundreds of people, they've worked on my family members, my friends, everybody that's came and trained with me through word of mouth and there's no reason that can't help everyone in the world. I've been offered tens of thousands of pounds to be a sellout, to be one of those coaches, one of those online influencers and TV personalities that you see all the time selling very poor and detrimental products to people's health. I'm never gonna be a sellout and the one day that I am and someone calls me out on it, I'll give up on everything but I wanted to put something out there that is perfect for everyone, that will benefit people, that will actually help them have a positive lifestyle and fitness is meant to benefit everyone's lifestyle. I don't want it to be detrimental and these products that people are endorsing where it's having a negative impact on like their relationship with food, their health, their mentality which is very very important now. Not many people mention that but I want to be the person that is going to benefit as many people as possible around the world and you know like the mom's going to school and stuff like that and people down the pub, I want them to be like, oh, that guy actually, I did it for like, maybe only four weeks out of eight, or maybe the full eight weeks, and I want them to say, yeah, it really helped me, like, you should try that. Like, I want to be that guy everywhere.